My name is Rita Wise Kibumbi. I am a blind painter. I don't see for now many years, but I can do the painting. Today my painting is in the landscape form and my uh, composition is basically about anxiety, how you can be, uh, how you can fight, uh, maybe ignore uh, anxiety. My painting is an acrylic on canvas, this is canvas. As you can see, I will know the different drops I have here. I have the white, the yellow, I have some blue and some red and black. I can't change position now because I've already studied my canvas very well. So I won't change the position up to when I've finished my background and then put the detail later. The way I can even paint without seeing, basically I note the law of stance where I know what I need in my background, where my foreground will be, where my middle ground will be, my foreground. Like I know in my middle ground somewhere I have the mountain and I have the ranges there in the end of my middle ground. So like that, it's as if there is an island somewhere as you can see so it's an environment of calming down anxiety and standing on god's promises my theme is to inspire motivate and encourage others so like this i'll get it in the mind as you see where this painting is going i'm gonna show anxiety the, the way the waves will be coming along this mountain that's the anxiety you see and then after my finishing, you'll find that on my mountain, there will be a sign of peace, a bird coming up soon. As I'm continuing my painting, I'm going to be putting a bird in its calmness. Despite the storm, the anxiety, the depression, the frustration coming on this uh, rock, the rock won't move and everything standing on the rock. Sometimes the colors depends on the time of the day. Like a stormy place, a stormy time won't be as bright as the morning. At least it will be like uh, either midday down or after lunch, depending on the mood of the time. That's how I select my color. Thank you so much. I work with my young daughter, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace is a 12 year old, and when she's at school, I get volunteers around and I invite other volunteers around the world to come and can we do this to change the world. I also work with uh, some professional artists from the university who come around to bring uh, their different ideas and arts. I paint semi-abstract. It's not abstract and it's not reality. It's between the two because you can get a picture from it. I was inspired by my mom. I was like, really? She can paint even though she doesn't see. She really expresses herself to you. Like, amazing. I feel this beach. I feel this coolness. I want to paint it. It makes me this and this color. And I'm like, I can also do it. If mommy can do it, I can also do it. I said painting slowly by slowly. She was giving me themes at the beginning. Then slowly by slowly, I started motivating myself by getting different themes from the surrounding and I was inspired by them, especially nature and creatures and animals. That's my main topic. I advise the young ones, like, you should have role models who are really, who are really inspirational. My role model is my mother. Why it take her to be so inspirational? She does extraordinary things. Like, you should learn to admire someone who won't take you anywhere. Like, I, 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 I got, I put my trust in her and I was like, if mommy can do it, I can also do it, I'm her daughter, what's the difference between us? So I painted and I got my inspiration from her and I advise you to always have the good peer pressure, like a good surrounding. Believe in yourself, because if I didn't believe in myself like I can do it, I wouldn't have achieved all. 